What is a film festival marketing scorecard? How does this affect my selection? Where did this come from? What is this new feature? Michael, you haven't explained it. You're right. I haven't explained it. I'm sorry. All right. We've been working on this so much to perfect this technology, to give every single scorecard that you get from the judges at our film festivals to the filmmakers so that they can understand their ranking. They can understand the award nominations better, and they can understand where their film fits in with everyone else that they competed with. I've updated this video to share some exciting news. Our judging scorecards have graduated from beta. Now they're available for every submission eligible at our events. This includes films, videos, series episodes, music videos, screenplays, and teleplays. Access to marketing scorecards is complimentary for all submitters there is no additional fee. As an exclusive feature, you can unlock four additional scorecards, three scorecards dedicated to creativity and one scorecard dedicated to the technical aspects, all for a fee of 25 US dollars. This fee is used to compensate our local judges, ensuring that adjudication for each film festival is conducted by judges from the same region. For example, if you submit to a festival in Houston, your judges will be Houston area locals. Similarly, submissions to Portland or Atlanta will be evaluated by judges in those respective areas. The regional approach gives filmmakers and screenwriters insight into their work's local reception. Bear in mind, judges' opinions may vary by market, so results may differ from one festival to another. Today's focus is on the marketing scorecard, which you, the submitter, fully control. Aiming for a perfect score of 20 maximizes your chances of being selected and nominated at our film festival events. In this tutorial, I'll guide you on how to fine tune your marketing scorecard. If you go to the homepage, you go to the top right and you log in. If you don't have a login already, just put in the same email address that you submitted with, create a password, creating an account on filmfestivalcircuit.com is free. Go over to the section that says my tickets and submissions. Just click on your name in the top right, go down to where it says my tickets slash submissions and click on that. Then when you get to the screen, you're going to see two tabs. You're going to see one that says upcoming and it says my tickets on the left. And then you're going to see one that says my submissions on the right. Go ahead and click on the my submissions tab. Now you've clicked on the My Submissions tab and you're gonna see my example submission that I just made up for our free film festival that's called Film Festival Circuit TV. In here, you're like, oh, wait a minute, we've got the scorecard here and this little magic purple button that says View Scorecard. I like this. Go ahead and click on View Scorecard. When you click on View Scorecard, you are going to see the name of your film. I know this is purely fictional example, so it says example, film, or video. Um, you're gonna see the green circle with the number inside of it. The highest you can possibly score on this is a 20. And you are going to see just some numbers in there. Since this is a fictional example, we're not comparing it to any other films. So it says number one in this category. It's because there's only one submission in this category. Uh, I actually think there's actually two, uh, two submissions in this category. This is number one. There's another one that had an 18 for a marketing scorecard number. Technical scorecards and creative scorecards have not been done for this particular submission, but we're not gonna go over that. That's why it says under review, that'll be another video. So on this one, you notice the purple button that says edit submission. Go ahead and click on edit submission. These questions are a super basic breakdown of some required information we need to market your film. We wanna market that your film screening at the festival. We wanna tell people what it's about. We wanna show people what the poster looks like. We wanna show people the trailer. We want you to put your best foot forward at our film festivals, and this is the information that we need. Your film has a proper name added. That's just the submitter's name, okay? You'd be surprised how many films don't have contact information. Or for the first and last name on their submission, they put like, you know, Rose Productions. They don't even put a human. It's kind of absurd. So your film had a proper name, green check mark. This submission form includes a director's credit. We wanna know who directed the film. Now I know on some documentaries they have more producers and things like that, but someone's name's gotta go in here. It doesn't matter if it's 15 names, the name has gotta go in there. We have to give credit to someone who put this film together. This submission form includes a tagline. So this is where it really stumps people sometimes because a tagline and a synopsis are two different things. Do not copy and paste the same thing to both. A tagline is typically one sentence that is kinda like the pitch line to your film. For Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the tagline was, you know, one man's mission to take it easy or something like that, right? So it's just giving you one little sentence. A synopsis is saying what your film is about. You know, two lovers are on the run from a murdering ex-boyfriend and 
you know, shenanigans ensue or whatever. That is a synopsis that kind of tells us like, okay, this is what this film is about. So make sure you have separate for a separate entry for each. And your tagline is not a field that is in Film Freeway. So if we import your submission from Film Freeway here, this will be empty and you'll be like, I just lost two points. Why did I lose two points? There's no box for a tagline. I'm sorry, we don't have a way to fix that right now, but you do. You click on edit submission, type in a tagline and your score updates instantaneously. Next up, we have the director statement. The director statement is not the synopsis, they're different. The director statement is why did you create this film? What motivated you to create this film? The submission form includes an image for the poster. Please put a poster in here for your movie. It is so important to have a poster. That's the number one thing we use to market films. Every Hollywood film you've ever seen in your life in the theater, that's a major release, has a poster. And the last thing is a public trailer. All the things I just said, every Hollywood movie you've ever seen in your life has a trailer. Uh, there's, a, there's a certain segment of the population that has a mental block that says, if I have a short film, that, that means I can't have a trailer because I'll ruin the whole film. That's actually not true. You can make a trailer that's 30 seconds if you want to. You can do it with a couple of still photos and a coming soon. Make something. The trailer serves as a marketing piece to let people know when they're seeing that big list of 40 or 50 films playing in a day, which ones they might like to come and see. They just want a little snippet to see basically what your film is about. You don't have to tell your whole movie story in a trailer. You can show a few clips make a cool few sound effects, have some little music and be out. We want to promote your film with basic tools and we don't feel like we're asking too much. The people that wanna fill out their full scorecard get the full 20 points. You can control this, you can edit this at any time. Uh, you can submit your film and say, oh, I need to edit these couple of things and add that in. Make your submission look good. Show respect for the process, the judging process and for the judges and for the people that when we Put your film out there. We want to be able to say with pride, this is what it's about. Here's a picture of it. Check out the trailer. You know, learn all the info. Hang out in the screening. You know, you want to get to that third hour and watch this film. So um, that's all I got about the marketing scorecard. I will go into the other scorecards later, talking about the multiple creative scorecards, which are four different genres of film. Obviously, the horror film scorecard, creative scorecard does not look the same as the comedy film creative scorecard. And the comedy film scorecard looks nothing like the documentary film scorecard. So we had to go in and make all of those. We've got a lot of time, effort, and energy behind this process, but that's because we want to be transparent with you, the filmmaker. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video. Thank you. Every day at filmfestivalcircuit.com, we get questions from filmmakers, screenwriters, producers, actors, and people like you that are interested in the film industry with questions about our film festival events. My name is Michael Fair, and I've been a film festival director since 2008. I have hosted over 100 film festival events with film screenings, networking events, award shows, and sometimes even a few screenplay readings. For over 15 years, I have been getting a lot of the same questions repeatedly. I love to answer these questions in person, live at the events, but I decided to make a video series FAQ, just in case you have some of the same questions that I get all the time. If you have a film festival related question, please post them in the comments section. I might just make a video about your question as well. If you're interested in attending or submitting to one of our film festival events in Texas, Oregon, or Georgia, please visit filmfestivalcircuit.com for more information.